Thank you for your interest in Test Studio. Test Studio is highly configurable and it is important to set your project up for success by having the proper project settings in place. In this tutorial we will guide you through these settings to ensure your success and to bring out the ease of use that Test Studio provides. When you first begin your Test Studio project the default settings may not be tuned for your specific application. Don't hit the record button until you set your project settings. You can always clean things up after the fact, but why not save yourself that time? First, we'll create a new project. We'll give this project a name. Next, click Create. Check your update status when you start up. If there's an update, this message is replaced by an update button. Next, click on your project level to enable the project toolbar. Then click on the project settings button. The project settings window opens. Feel free to click the link within the message to see the online documentation corresponding to it. There are many different settings to cover, but this tutorial focuses on the most critical for your automation success. Select Recording Options to begin. Set a base URL to tell Test Studio what environment you are recording against, and you'll be able to run your test lists against QA1, staging, and production simply by changing a single setting. Next, select the Compare Mode option to tell Test Studio how to recognize the pages of your application. Full path is recommended to avoid issues with dynamic URLs. Next, we'll select the default recording option for drop down lists. This can be modified at the step level as well. By text is content based and leverages the on screen text like a user does. By index is location based and only records the position of the selection made in the list. And by value locates the selection by value tribute of the list items. We recommend using by text option since it's the same way your users work by the text on the screen. Test Studio uses DOM injection by default, like copy and paste. If JavaScript handlers are present, it may be required to simulate real clicks and real typing. This can be modified at the step level too. If you have a test step that provides a false positive, it may be good to simulate real clicking or typing to see if it resolves the issue. Next, click on Identification Logic. Test Studio's identification logic is the key to creating reliable, easy to maintain tests. Test Studio does not use location based action but instead can locate your application's elements by the element attributes. The project level identification logic settings let you customize the attribute search priority, creating the most reliable strategy for finding elements. You can easily add to this list to take advantage of unique IDs when they're available. Then set the priority amongst the other attributes. When unique IDs are not available, consider using text components. This is essentially how your users do it, by reading the text on screen. Text content gives you access to the text of the target element like the word cancel on the cancel button. Inner text gives you access to the text of that target element and any children as well. This means you can find an entire row within a grid based off the content of the row. Now that we have the identification logic attributes and priority set for the application under test, Test Studio can find elements in the strongest manner possible. For example, now if I record clicking on the cancel button, Test Studio will find and save the best method to locate the element. First, it will check to see if the cancel button has an automation ID. 
This is the best case scenario. If that does not exist, it will check for the UID, then the text content until it finds a value to use. Test Studio allows you to use location-based identifiers like XPath or XY coordinates, but typically there is a more reliable method that leverages the attributes of the element, like text content or automation ID. Next, we will check for Test Studio updates. The Test Studio development team provides a very agile update cycle in order to keep you up to date with the latest browsers. You can make sure to stay up to date with the latest internal builds, or you can opt for the official builds. If you ever have difficulty with your browsers, be sure to check for the latest release of Test Studio in order to work with the latest browser versions. On the Browsers tab, you can recalibrate Test Studio with your browsers. Definitely try restoring and recalibrating if you run into trouble with a browser. Browser calibration is one factor. You must also ensure that the browser's extension settings are properly configured as well. Now that we have our project settings configured, we can begin creating tests. Back on the project panel, to begin a new test, we will right-click on the project. Then click Add New Test. We will create a new web test. Double click to open the test in design mode. Be sure to set your quick execution element timeout. By default, this is 30 seconds, but we recommend using something that works best for your application. Generally, 10 seconds will work better. Keep in mind that these settings are only applying to quick execution and you have the same and more settings on the test list level as well. Now we are ready to begin recording our tests. Select the record menu option or click the record button in the top left of the screen. Then select the recording browser you wish to start with. You can switch at any time and capture your test from any of these three browsers. Test Studio includes powerful translators for Kendo UI, Ajax, Silverlight, and WPF controls in the IE recorder. Ideally, we want to create one test that can execute across all of these browsers. Once you make your selection, click the record button. This will launch your browser and take you to the starting screen. Enter the URL to navigate to your application and click the start recording button. Now you can begin capturing your actions and verifications against the live application. If you run into any trouble, please reach out to us. You have access to our support team throughout your trial. Just click on the Help tab and you can submit a ticket from there.